evening and welcome to this pay-per-view extravaganza alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for our main event. Ten rounds of light heavyweight action, and now the time has come. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. He is a pure puncher, a knockout artist. If you've seen all his fights, then you know every ending. They never go the distance. So if you watch that hot dog eating contest, you know, you've seen that, haven't you? Sure. Well, that's what his fights are like. How quick can he go through those hot dogs? How quick can he go through his opponent? Able to show you his blocking ability. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. He's jumping all over him now. Burks nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. He missed with that head shot. How about that left hand? Teddy, when a southpaw faces an orthodox fighter, he has some natural advantage. But one of them just comes from the fight that the righty doesn't see a lot of lefties, right? Well, that's exactly right. He doesn't have much time to practice against the southpaw, so it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel comfortable before you know it. You're not doing things that you should be doing. Gets rid of that body shot. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Burks' defense is paying off now. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. Well-placed left hand there. End of the round. <laughs> Oh, that was a that. very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything. You know, he wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you could just outwork him a little. Bird showing you a little defensive skill there, and he'll move away from that punch. Scored well up top. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Blocks the headshot. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him, and then all of a sudden appear on him. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Big shot there. Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five. Burks is rising back up. That takes some guts. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Doubling up the jab now. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Let's see some more head movement. Yeah, Burks got a way of just getting away from that punch. Work the body. And he returns on that exchange. Hurting that body. Wow, <laughs> he defensively sound. Hurting that body. Off target with that hook. Now hugging on the inside. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Uh-huh. Get your ass again. Watch. Oh! Ooh, I'm about so to whip him with that left hook. Now he gets to settle down. I'm about to whip him with that left hook. 
Do you go after it and get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal. Uh-huh. Oh! Uh-huh. He gets uh -huh. bored with yeah. one <laughs> single shot. I told your ass. Just tore down you. like an old building. This fight <laughs> is over. Yeah, baby daddy. That's what I'm talking about. Finish him! Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy.